I'll hand over to David Campbell now. Thank you. Good afternoon, Prison Break. Yay! Three years ago, I was teaching people how to subvert the Labor government's clumsy attempt at an internet censorship. I had joked at the time that there are probably information feeds directly into US and Australian spy agencies, and that people should not hold an expectation that they have any privacy online unless proven otherwise. I remember at the time that the US ambassador had suggested that on one of his visits that the internet filter was a poor idea and that the US have a much better system for achieving the same goals. Well, I think we all have a good idea what that system is now. I think all of us here can agree that Edward Snowden's actions were heroic, not just for bringing prism to light, but also for effectively throwing away life as he knows it to bring this information to the service, to the benefit of people from every corner of the globe. The NSA's PRISM system is a direct violation of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which states that no one shall be subjected to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home or correspondence. Triggered by the Second World War, all human beings are inherently entitled to these rights, as adopted in 1948 and voted for by Australian and United States representatives. The United States, however, is no stranger to non-compliance with international conventions and obligations. So far, having completely failed to ratify key conventions, the United States has not ratified conventions against discrimination, nor the Convention on the Rights of the Child, among many others. The United States willingly defies international expectations and laws, treating the world as its playground. While the digital security of our cyber economy is a matter of real and present concern for Australia, Foreign Minister Bob Carr has said that he doesn't feel that Australians should be concerned about PRISM. Are we to sit down and accept this spineless pandering to the United States yet again? Have we become that apathetic of a nation that when another country violates human rights, it is not worth our time or concern? I say to Bob Carr, you are a spineless worm hooked on the a spineless worm hooked on the US war machine, running on the terror treadmill. Are you the Australian Foreign Minister or are you the Minister of Carrying Baggage and Holding the Door Open for America? If human rights mean nothing to you as an Australian representing Australia, to the world, then hang your head in shame and resign, for you are not fit for the office that you serve. Yeah. Yeah. If you are our Foreign Minister, Bob Carr, then our government no longer stands for freedom. It stands for surveillance and destruction of human rights. The Australian government refuses to confirm or deny whether it actually has access to private information from the PRISM system. If it does not have access, it is very easy for them to be honest about it and say they don't. There has been ample opportunity to do so when questioned by many, including the formal approach taken by Senator Ludlam. Therefore, we must logically conclude that they do have access to PRISM until proven otherwise. For over a year, the Attorney General's Department has been running a national security inquiry, which basically boiled down to the government and law enforcement wish list of new surveillance powers. Australia is not far behind having our own special prism. These rights that I speak of, these are considered universal, and yet the Australian government and our so-called ally, the United States, seeks to destroy them using fear as justification. We must take back our rights from a government that has shredded them and spat in our faces. Thank you very much.